So odds are you probably have one of these laying around, a hundred dollar bill, right? So if you're watching this video, you're probably trying to find different ways that you can invest those hundred dollars, get that money working for you. Because let's be honest here, one of the most important things that you can do is give your money an assignment and give each dollar a name. That way you know exactly where they're supposed to be because in a world of investment and in a world of finance and in a world where you don't always want to work for your money, we know that the best employee that you will ever have is going to be money itself. They don't call out, they're never sick, they go to work for you even when you're asleep, and they know how to have babies, AKA they know how to multiply themselves. So in this video, I am going to be showing you four different ways that you can invest $100. Now, the reason I made this video is because a lot of you guys have been reaching out to me, asking me, Irv, I have some extra cash laying around. I've been working some extra hours. I'm tired of working my nine to five, or I have my side hustle going on, but where can I now start investing that money? So I have different categories and really different areas that you can invest those $100, not necessarily in the stock market, not necessarily back into your business, just different ways that you can invested so if one of these ways works for you i definitely would love to hear about it down in the comments because i did spend some time making this video to make sure that i try to hit at least uh, four different categories for all types of audiences all that i ask from you is that if you enjoy this content share it with someone and hit that like button down below because it does help this channel continue to grow and again if you do like content like this then consider subscribing as we're dropping videos just like this each and every single week so let's go ahead and jump right into the first way that you can invest 100 dollars and that is with with self education look i know that we've heard it before college is a scam you know don't go to school if unless you want to be broke we know that so many people are in debt right around forty two thousand dollars is the average debt for the average student that comes out of work and by the way they're not even guaranteed an average paying job which completely blows my mind now i'm not against school and I'm definitely not against education, especially when it comes to educating yourself and continuing to improve your skills or continue to improve something that maybe you want to see yourself better at. So that's exactly why I added personal development into this list and I put it right at the top of the list. Look, that can come in many forms. That can come in books, that can come in seminars, that can come in courses. I know that there's so many different, what I can call genres out there of study. So I'm not really gonna say, you know, only invest in this type of course or only buy that type of course because I think it's all going to come down to what you're looking to get into in the space that you're looking to master so if you're looking to maybe uh, master your personal finance consider buying some more personal finance books they're what 10 15 bucks on amazon with 100 bucks you can buy, you can buy right around five or six of them maybe even buy some workbooks that come with them if your goal is to get better in the stock market consider maybe buying or going to a stock market seminar now obviously you want to do this with caution and you want to do this uh with extensive research because there's obviously a lot of scams out there so i get it so i would highly recommend first try to get as much free material as you can and yeah i use the word free in places like youtube and then the next layer or the next piece to that puzzle is that's when you start to layer books and different material that you can then kind of start to piece things together and then on top of that that's when i would maybe uh expand and maybe go into some type of one-on-one -on -one mentorship or even some type of one-on-one -on -one coaching or maybe some type of group coaching call now again it's all going to come down to the space or the field that you want to be in so if you want to be maybe in that personal finance space, consider that. If you wanna be in the real estate space, consider maybe checking out some real estate content. If you maybe want to be in some type of what we can call uh, become a better salesman, consider some type of sales content. The catalog of content that's out there for free is mind boggling. Just pick to a style of person or a style of school or a style of teacher that works for you. And that's where I would be investing my hundred dollars. If, if, if I were looking to, again, better my skills at something that I was looking to do specifically that I know would help me out in the long run. One of the big biggest reasons why I personally enjoy uh, any type of personal development or any type of seminars or books or courses is because in my opinion it really cuts down the time that it would that it would have taken me to research all of those items you know grab it from this source grab it from that source test it you know trial and error it just kind of brings let's say if it was a learning curve of five years and it chopped it down into five months or if it was a learning cur curve of five months it would chop it down into five weeks and for me time is money and once you start thinking of it like that where time is money and time is actually more uh, valuable than money 
then at that point, you don't feel as hesitant when it comes to releasing 100 bucks because you know what you're going to get on the back end is going to be tenfold. Now, the second place that you can invest those $100 would be into something called wholesaling or wholesaling, however you want to pronounce it. But when it comes to wholesaling, one of the reasons why I really like this type of business is because it doesn't require any type of cash and it doesn't require any type of credit. You can literally buy an asset or you can literally buy the contract of an asset and it doesn't cost you anything other than time, labor, and, and maybe a couple of signs and maybe a couple of numbers to dial through. Here's what I mean by that. In a nutshell, wholesaling just from, let's say, A to Z, the most simplest way that we can explain it here without making a full video on it is let's say there's a distressed property in your neighborhood right now or in the neighborhood across the street. It has uh, the grass is up to the windows. Uh, there's patches of paint that's missing on the property. There's maybe a piece of wood that's holding the roof together. And maybe there's like a chain leak fence around it that says beware of dog. And everyone knows that there's no dog, right? So that would be, you know, the clearest image that I can paint when it comes to really understanding the type of properties that we're looking for. You say, hey, I have, I have a group of buyers. Are you looking to sell your property? They say, yes, let's say that they're looking to sell it for 90,000. You know, you've done your market research. That property's worth somewhere in the market of around 120. And then you have a group of real buyers that are going to buy it off of you for, let's say, 115 120 because once they fix it and they go to let's say flip it for a profit it'll be worth 160 170. in this case the asset is not going to be the house in this case the asset is going to be the contract or the piece of paperwork that you have that you are now able to sell that off over to that buyer and that buyer then is the one that funds the deal they have the good credit they have the cash and they are the ones that meet again they're the third party buyer they're the ones that meet the seller at the closing table what do you get in return you get a margin on that deal. So that deal right there that I just mentioned, you can get anywhere between 10, 15, even $20,000 just off of that. The $100 that you're investing could be, again, into something like education. It can be into yard signs, band signs, the marketing of the property, whether you're throwing it on Craigslist, if you're throwing it on the Facebook marketplace for some more ads or for, for some extended reach, or if you're throwing it on areas also like Instagram. Now, another way that you can invest those $100 apart from marketing and apart from bandit signs is if you wanted to buy a list of phone numbers, which obviously it's going to be one of the easiest and fastest ways for you to contact some of these homeowners apart from driving for dollars through your neighborhood. And I would also recommend maybe teaming up with someone who's done these deals. Now you can maybe find someone in your town or in your city, maybe take them out for dinner or even pay them for their time or even get together with a program like Wholesale University. You guys can find the link down in the description where they walk you literally from, from finding, the, finding the deal, keeping the deal together, providing you a list of buyers and making sure that the deal actually closes and that you get paid. You can find the link to that down in the description for you to check that out yourself. Now, what's an investing video if we don't at least bring up the stock market, right? And that's exactly what this third way of investing is, and that would be investing in an ETF or an exchange traded fund. One of the reasons why I enjoy an exchange traded fund is because uh, kind of like a stock, but in my opinion, a lot safer than a stock, you're investing your money into, uh, into the stock market. But when it comes to investing in an exchange traded fund, one of the reasons why I prefer it over just one stock is because it's diversified. Meaning if I just invest in the say stock X, right? Stock X goes down in the, in the dumps, I've lost all of my money. But if I'm invested into an ETF, I'm invested into a basket of stocks that if one goes down, I still have 50, 60, or 100 different stocks that are within that basket or within that portfolio that are holding that ETF's value up and keeps me from losing money. That's called diversification. Now, some ETFs that you can consider is VOO, which is one that I've personally invested in myself. That's the Vanguard uh, S&P 500 ETF. One of the reasons why I recommend that ETF specifically, and this isn't investing advice, this is my, just my observation, is because if, let's say, you have a, an ETF or if you have a stock that's, let's say, kind of just watching the entire S&P 500, then it's going to try to match it to its best of its ability. We know that the S&P 500, on average, is performing anywhere between an, a 7.5 to an 8% return on investment year over year. Obviously, there's some years that are 13%, there's some years that are 12 but for the most part, year over year, you can expect an 8% return on your money over the long term. Uh, if you, let's say, wanted to get a little bit more riskier, you can also diversify into some more foreign markets, maybe something that's a bit more bond heavy or something that's a bit more stock heavy rather, or you can even diversify into something that just maybe brings you a little bit more dividend 
uh, dividends each and every single year that you can again reinvest into that stock the cool part about buying an etf is that it will cost you less money in terms of an expense ratio than what it was to again have a mutual uh, a mutual fund which is managed by a professional which either way an etf can outperform most professionals anyways but when it comes to that etf you can also buy them and what we call a fractional share, meaning if you if, uh, if that ETF is worth $300, $300, you can literally buy it for 80 bucks, 20 bucks, 50 bucks. There's no excuses not to get started. Now, some of the places where you can start investing into some of these ETFs are on apps like Vanguard, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, as well as Webull. And when it comes to Webull, if you invest or if you start with $100, kind of like what we mentioned in this video, they will give you four free stocks valued up to $1,600. So you are literally getting paid to start with Webull. I will drop that link down in the description. Enjoy. Now, this last one, in my opinion, is going to be the most fun way for you to invest and generate some income. And that's going to be any, any type of retail arbitrage or any type of fixing and flipping items online. We've all seen it, right? Where you'll try to, let's say, buy a mint condition, let's say sports card or a mint condition, let's say sports jersey. Maybe you'll try to fix it up or maybe you'll try to restitch it. And then you throw it online or you sell it to a, a local shop or a friend that is willing to buy it off of you on a profit. In my opinion, there's nothing that's probably going to be as exciting as that. But I would say that try to invest that $100 into something that you actually enjoy. So if you enjoy sports cards, take the sports card route. If you enjoy fixing and flipping, let's say microwaves, what the heck? Maybe if you know a thing or two about the value of books and the series that books are in. Look, there's times where you can go to a Goodwill and you can find books, let's say a first edition or a second edition that are rare or discontinued. You can buy that for literally two three dollars at a thrift shop or at, or at a goodwill you can turn back around and you can sell that on ebay or you can sell that on craigslist or you can sell that even in the facebook marketplace if it's something that's let's say highly collectible that somebody's actually searching for this is what you want to do you know this is why you want to find something that you actually enjoy you can literally turn back around and sell that book for 100 200 even 300 bucks depending on how rare it actually is and one of the reasons why i also think that this is so fun is because these are tangible items that you are actually holding unlike some of the other things that we mentioned earlier today or earlier in this video but when it comes to this specific type of retail arbitrage or when you're again flipping things online there's something about it almost feels like a treasure hunt when you have this item and you scan it if you're using the ebay app and you say wow i have a gem in my hands i can't wait to you know take pictures of this clean it up and put it out so that i can start getting a bidding war set up with this item so there you have it there's probably a hundred different ways that you can invest a hundred dollars but again i wanted to keep this video as simple as possible within all areas and all levels so that you can start today and in, in any one of these four now it doesn't have to be one of these four but this would at least get the conversation going for you and kind of get the wheels turning for you to kind of start to think okay i think i can definitely find let's say a niche here or i think i can maybe invest my hundred dollars here for me to get a return now remember whenever you are investing a hundred dollars you can expect that all the, that all of these different ways that i mentioned are all going to give you you know these big returns of getting a thousand dollars you know you invest a hundred you're, you're gonna get a thousand some of these ways is just even if you can convert that hundred dollars into two hundred dollars that right there is already 100% return, right? I mean, you can't even get that on the stock market or even $100 into $50, right? There's a 50% return. Uh, but just make sure that when you are investing the uh, this money, it's something that you feel comfortable with and it's an amount that you don't mind losing in the event that maybe things don't go your way. Again, a lot of this stuff does take practice and it does take time to master. I hope that you enjoyed this content. Make sure to hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button as well if you found value and if you enjoyed this content. Don't forget that anytime we're not posting on here, we are posting over on the Inside with Earth show, which is our podcast style channel. And I do wanna thank our sponsors over at Amazon's Audible, where they made it super easy and convenient for you to enjoy a free month as well as a free book by hitting the link down in the description. Once again, I appreciate you watching. Until next time, everyone, I will see you in the next video.